Obviously, very disappointing loss. I thought we played extremely hard. We just we just didn't have some poise and some discipline that we needed in some key stretches, especially the last last minute or so. Um, just just disappointed as I've been all year. I thought we, we we played well enough to win against a very good ball club, and we uh, you know we, we we couldn't close it out. So um, very very disappointing. Yeah, well, uh, Cam and Javante basically carried you offensively. Uh, Trent seemed to struggle the whole game. What was, I guess, going on with him, especially the technical he picked up, which wasn't the, the, the smartest thing to do at that point? Well, I mean, you know, we've had guys that have, you know, we've, we've had the hot hands and we went to the hot hands with, with Trenton and, I mean, with, with Javante and, and, and Cam tonight. And, um, you know, I think Trenton, um, he got some. He got some good looks. They did some things, trapping him in the post and that sort of thing. But um, this is just one of those one of those nights. But he's a great player, and he'll uh, he'll certainly bounce back. Well, have, have you talked to him? about this is like the second time he's had a technical in the game for the. I don't know. I guess for talking, but that one seemed to really hurt. It took him a time to get his fourth foul. Is there anything you can really drive home to him about? You know, just just play. I mean, we you know we uh, we talk about all those all those things as a as a team and. Um, Trendon's, a, Trendon's a great player, and um, you know sometimes emotions get the best of you. And, and um, unfortunately, uh, unfortunately today, you know he got hit with a, with the technical. But coach, I got two for you. Number one, what's the status of Darius Days? It looked like his ankle. No, really it's fell a, off. he doesn't have any structural damage. It's more of a knee, but he's going to be out. There's it, it, nothing's torn, but he's going to be out a couple weeks probably. Um, and two, like in the last in the last play, can. Can you just walk us through? Was that designed to go to Cam? Because it, I know he got open on a shot fake, but it almost seemed like it shocked him how wide open he really was. Yeah, we we were trying to set up a play, but we were just we're out of whack. We didn't have date. We didn't have kind of our normal guys that run all our late game stuff out there, and it just put us it put us you know a little bit out of whack. And so we have a play that we run all the time. We drill it in practice all the time. I mean, we didn't. We couldn't ex we didn't execute it right because our spacing wasn't right, but we ended up getting. I mean, you, I don't care if we'd have run the play right. I don't think we would have gotten a better shot than what we got. Hey, well, uh, can you just? I mean, it really looked like a reminiscent performance a couple of years ago from Javante, you know, against Tennessee. I mean, just just kind of talk about his performance tonight and just kind of how he was able to carry you guys really through a litany of different issues. Yeah, Jay, Jay was awesome. I mean, he was he was awesome. He was tremendous. He um, made huge plays for us. Um, really, really, really uh, helped helped carry us on offense and sustain us, especially in the second half when days went down and we were just we were dropping some bodies. So, um, you know, I, th I thought um, I thought he he played one of his best games in his LSU career. I was very very proud of him. Well, you called your last time out with 31 seconds to go. What what kind of options did you have coming out of that? Well, yeah, we you, you wish you would have had another timeout, I'm sure. Yeah, we, you know, we usually do have more timeouts, but um, we just uh, – our spacing wasn't right. Um, our spacing wasn't right and, and on, the, on the play. It's something that we've been working on because we've had some problems getting the ball inbounds all year in those type situations. So we put in a new set a couple weeks ago. We work on it. Quite a bit, and, and um, our spacing was just off. I have to go back and watch it on film. But what it looked like for me was we we were we were on the wrong side, and our spacing was off. Well, I, I think they got you on the boards by 11, and I know there was a an offensive rebound that led to a three for them in the, in the uh, right before they took the lead. But I mean, how much do you feel like the rebounding kind of played a factor in the late game situation? Played a big factor. I thought particularly in the second half, they pinned their ears back. I think they got 10 or 12 offensive rebounds in the second half, and they do a great job on the offensive glass. And, and I thought they, they really took advantage, of, uh, took advantage of us on the offensive glass in the second half in particular. I think McClung's three when they were down four was off an offensive rebound as well. Coach, is it um, disappointing because it seems like you did a lot of things very well today, maybe that – you would struggle with in games past, defensively especially. It looked like you were very sticky all over them in the first half. Is that what makes this loss even more disappointing? Yeah, I mean, we just, 
I thought we played well enough to win. Sometimes when we lose, I don't think we play very well, and you just kind of accept the result. But I thought today we played well enough to win. I thought the first half in particular to only be up one or two at half. I think we were up one at half. I mean, I thought we should have been up seven or eight. We should have been up ten or twelve at some point. We just we just couldn't. And that's how they are, man. They're so good like that. They just hang and hang and hang and then, and then throw a punch at the end like that. And so, um you know, I, I felt like we we played well enough to win today. I don't always feel like that after we lose. I felt like we had prepared well and and played well, and and you know, it's just very disappointing when you don't get the result you want. Coach Wade, your first bench points of the night came from Sharif late in the second half. What can you do to get more bench points later on in the season? Well, we're just going to have to, you know, some of those guys are going to have to step up. We're going to have to give some guys some opportunities now that Days is out. We have to we have to have some guys um, you know step up and, and and play well with these opportunities that they're going to get. They're good players. We got good players. Hey, coach. I was just wondering. I know you were talking about that last play. I just wanted to know the spacing wasn't right. Was there ever an option in that play for a quick two, and then you try to give them a tissue on medicine with the trap and get a steal? No, we were gonna, the... we didn't have timeouts, so we were going to go for three. Okay. Thank you, Will. Thanks, guys.